Alright, we are back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax, and we are continuing our playthrough of space exploration. And I am uh, hanging out in the rocket, waiting for it to take off. And I've added a bunch of requests for some of the things we need for production science. So kind of, again, went into Hell Mod and just set this to a thousand to get a sense about how much stuff we need to bring up but one thing we do need actually is this thermofluid or, well this cold thermofluid and then thermofluid but it recycles so the cold you get back the normal thermofluid from the cold thermofluid but you need to supply just like a tiny amount extra continuously, so just a little bit gets lost. So, but the numbers are tiny, but we need, do want to make sure that that stuff's up there. And I know there's a bunch of sulfur up there already, so I can leave this as a tiny number. But we kind of need to build still the, the base of it. So we do want maybe a good number of these. And there's probably enough copper and iron up there for, for us to not like worry about that part too much. <clears throat> and yeah, I think the plan for today is to build then at least the fluids that we need. And and so this really is just the thermofluid chain. So let's see, where is it here? So if we put in Eight, then I think this is about just running one factory full blast to get eight. That's, that was kind of the idea. And so, but then yes, we still need chemical gel, which no, not that one. And so then we need petroleum gas, and that's why there's a bunch of petroleum gas. And we need a lot of the cosmic water. So I think we're gonna try to, yes, build all this stuff. How are we looking? 489. So if we run up to space, we can also just tell it to build maybe some space scaffolding. So let's just, you know, go over here a bunch and tell it to build all this stuff. Go, get to work, bots. Have another road report. Okay, we've launched. Here we go. We like missed the sound effect cue, I guess. So it didn't. We didn't hear the rocket engine, but we did hear the the supports going off. That was interesting. And we have landed in Novice Orbit. Hello, welcome. We're back. Can we take a ride? Yes. Novice Orbit. We're back on our sushi belt. Taking a tour through the through, through the space station. Sushi belt space station. Hello, beautiful, beautiful solar panels. You guys did such a great job. Such a great job. See, it's interesting. There's like. 6,000 chemical gel in here. Hmm. I don't want to throw that away, so. But it is time, I think, for all this to retire. Retire, retire. Goodbye. Goodbye, solar panel production. We will rebuild G. Don't worry. The other thing is, I think these guys are. You guys are gonna retire as well. My inventory is full. But I think we should do a pretty okay job of recycling stuff. Okay, so this this little beast, let's just I'm gonna we just take a tank, I think, and just tank right here. Put a tank right here. All of it went into the tank like instantly, that was cool. Don't build anymore, please. And, eh, whatever, it's fine. 
All right. <clears throat> Clean all this stuff up, please. Oh no, that deleted all the ghosts though. Finish. Finish working. I told you to stop working. All right. They're, they're, they, did, they did a pretty good job. Give me the bots back. Give them back. <clears throat> so then, what I think we want to do is we're going to, well, extend the base a bit. So actually, let me ask for all these, all these guys. I think we have a bunch of cyan ones, which is great. Maybe if there's any red ones, I'll take them all. <clears throat> and I've, I've been working a little bit on some simple basic ideas for the extending the sushi belt, and this is part of it. So this is a junction, and basically I want to kind of build more little zones that are kind of little junctions off the main line that will specialize in different types of production. So what we're going to build first, I think, will be a, a set of an, an area to do the fluids, basically. Yes. Yeah, so let's go back to here. Let's pen it. <clears throat> the first thing I just need to make sure there's like some space. So basically, you're going to have chemical gel and the <clears throat> cosmic fluid and the turbo, turbo fluid? No, thermo fluid, right, yes. Okay, so, yeah, then, <clears throat> again, we're just gonna use the sushi belt, but like with little sushi belt junctions, so we just will have kind of a more normal looking one. And I think though these guys all don't need to touch the sushi belt, or like these two don't. And the plan will be to kind of, yes, just do something like this, where we just move all the fluids mostly around in barrels and using the sushi belt. So <clears throat> basically we're just going to do the barreling recipes and try to utilize the sushi belt as much as possible. And so just set up little builds like this. And if we want to scale it up, we'll just, you know, copy this exact thing and just, you know, do it, do it again. You know, you know. So then it'll be right up next to the sushi belt, kind of like that. And so then we'll do something similar for the cosmic water. So let's see. Let's do it like this, but I actually want to use the electric boilers this time. So I'm just gonna move it. Like that, yes. And then you can actually put this here. Yes. So this will be unbarrel lube. This will be create water from water ice. We're gonna do it this way. And this will go just straight in like this. And we're just gonna snake the water ice in. So I think the idea was to just build another mining situation here. And mine, mine this water ice. And just, I'm gonna pull it directly into this area because, oops. Because I think most things don't actually need water; they need the thermo or the cosmic water, and so we can just put the water ice in this little offshoot without it interfering with the rest of the sushi belt. And so we'll bring it kind of close and down. We'll have to maybe think about that. Okay, but then I just kind of let's see. I think we can move it a little bit closer. So kind of it'll maybe go, let's give it some space, but I think something like this. Okay, and let's see, we should maybe, okay, let's see if we can 
Let's extend the bow just a little bit for now. Maybe not to here. I want to just mostly start using substations. So I think, like exactly, or no, that's a center. Yes, I'm just going to start using substations. Okay, and then I think what we can do is if we just put the belt right on top, it will just fast replace and not be a problem, I hope. Second. Um, oops. Okay. Then I'm just going to manually connect them. Yes. And go. I don't know where is it? I can't tell. Yes. All right. Good. Extended the sushi belt. All right. And now let's see. So then, yes. The primary thing I was working on is this junction. So I'm hoping also maybe, hmm, I do want to try to like have it maybe aligned or I don't know. Let's see. I'll realign this based on where I put this first one. So this junction is just what we've been using for the most part. It just allows you to set the combinators to transfer, transfer the items. And importantly, I can kind of make it reversible like this. And so <clears throat> I did it in this way so that at least at the junction, there's an the option of putting it on both sides of the belt as well. So it has this kink in it. And I could have done it, and yeah, but then of course if you reverse it, I'm not gonna really do it though for the main line, I think. So we'll see, we'll see. I don't think so though. But then, yeah, we'll start just by pulling things off, and I'm going to just make it pretty tight. And before um, I actually put it down, I'm going to, again, just fast replace the part of the main bus just for temporarily so that it matches the blueprint and the new wires get set up. So that's sort of the idea. And then now I can just go back and just fast replace it again and make it normal. So that's nice. And then we have a couple of just lines of track to help do these side side gigs. <laughs> right? And then we're almost ready. So this oh yeah, this would be fill the cosmic water barrel. I'll put it this way. And do this. Great. <clears throat> okay, and then why is there not power? I'm just like really confused here. Okay. Okay, I see. <laughs> this needs to be connected that way. Okay, right? It's confusing because I guess the um, right the um, this big pylon substation is powering everything. Okay, then we'll finish this off, round it around. But I should have made this like one longer, so I would miss that wire. Then bring it back. So this will be our sushi sushi side belt and then we'll again just do our standard system i think for doing all of the i should probably add this to the blueprint so this is just it doesn't matter what you input it just matters what you output i'm gonna just do let's see empty barrels less than 20 empty barrels 
because I actually do want to just blueprint this. That's it, right? I think that's it, yes. That's not it. We'll add it to here. So, okay, so everything, we'll just put this down everywhere and fix it in a second. So then you're actually going to be now the cosmic water barrels. And then this is empty barrels, and then this is going to be chemical gel barrels. Empty barrels. Empty barrels. Great, okay, great. So that should set it up. So then let's then add an extra substation for power. And <clears throat> let's then set this up. Or like, actually, so I want to actually have this. I can do this. Get, the, get rid of this first. So let's just ask for, so we can just ask for some empty barrels, hopefully. So we'll just say a 10. So that way the 20, this will be lower precedence. So there we go, grab some empty barrels off the main line. You're gonna get snagged by everything, but that's okay. Hopefully you'll get going. Okay, so this thing needs stuff from the bus, so it needs to touch the bus. So I'm thinking just it can go pretty close here. And then I think we just cram these in here. Let's see, if we do it this way, yeah. Then we can just make it empty chemical gel, empty heavy oil. Then this will be fill. Throw up in. Great. Super simple. And let's get our blueprint. <laughs> there it is. This, those ones are even correct already. Then this just changes to thermofluid. Thermofluid. Cool. All right, so then this will set up a little junction. And hopefully enough barrels come. I think I need to, let's see, I need to maybe So you indiscriminately take barrels off, that's a problem. So you're going to be able, enabled if empty barrels is greater than 10. Okay, and then let's see. This is working now. Made the transfer. Transfer junction worked. That's why I was going. So great. <clears throat> okay, so then I'm going to let you be like 40 just to make sure it still has precedence. And then let's set up the inserters for you, which is just this. And again, we'll just. But then it's only. There's no outputs. Right, okay. So just have a couple of inserters. Great. 
but we need to then get the other types of things over. So I guess we can just slide this here and we'll do a loader. And we'll do this again. But it will say water ice. Okay, then you need an insert. There you go, have some water ice. Okay, now we need lubricant. Let's get some lubricant barrels, please. Let's get some petroleum gas barrels. And heavy oil. I don't know if heavy oil is on the network. So we should <clears throat> go over here and add it. Just do 10. Sure. Then the other things we need are. Sulfur, iron, and copper. So we'll just add these. Sulfur, iron, copper. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't think sulfur and iron are on the network either. No. So let's add sulfur. And iron. It's a little bit it's fine, I think. So I'm hoping that, like, yeah, just having I can have these smaller areas will kind of buffer out and also make it simpler, or, or you know, deal with higher throughputs because you can build out a buffer maybe. Hopefully, I don't know. So okay, things are rolling. Are we looking? Fill chemical gel barrel. Barrel. Cosmic water barrels. Okay, so we have, looks like almost all of them, right? Uh, yep, yep. And you're building these extra ones still, working our way through that surplus. And building thermo fluid, hey, nice. Okay, so then we want to now make the reciprocal junction. I'm just going to use the same template, but I'll just have to do the wires, fix some of the wires. So then these can go away. We'll ditch this. And basically, we need we need this green wire to be here, I think. And we need the red wire, the green wire to go across to there, into there. Yes, I think that's what we want. Oh, no, 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 that actually should be the red wire. Yeah, right. <clears throat> oh, it is there. Oh, the red wire stay. Oh, yeah, okay, the red wire is there. So then we, yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Yes, because we want the red wire just just checks the section near the inserter. So having that instead of checking the whole belt actually really helped the the throughput or of the junction. So then, okay, so then we're going to pull off the things we want and just put them on the main line here. So we're going to say the cosmic water barrels. I'll just leave everything as tin and worry about it later. Chemical gel barrels and the thermal fluid barrels, tin and tin. And then I guess we could try to maybe I worry about the the barrels. <clears throat> so 
maybe I'll just do an extra hmm yeah I mean I might want to recycle the empty barrels but sort of strange right but I think it'll be fine just we'll, we'll just cycle them and we'll be happy cool okay but then I think then this is now our new fluid producing part of the space station and yeah we're just gonna make make things in barrels and try to use the sushi belts and use the barrels because why not um, but we're gonna build a couple more things like this to hopefully get our way all the way to production science but I think this is a good place to call the session and take a break there you go factory yo I am Pax see ya next time.